hello again and now I will try to make two uh, tests of totally maintenance it uh, Nikon SMZ10 zoom modules so let's see the first module is 30 O35. Let's check its alignment. So here's uh, the lowest magnification. You can check left channel and right channel. Collimation is perfect. Now let's change zoom to the highest position. Middle of the zoom, left channel right channel and top of the zoom here let's check again left channel right channel so we got ideal collimation here mechanics mechanics gives us no uh, loose actions and a focus is sharp pin sharp on the whole range so <clears throat> we need to wait might be a day uh, to get ensured that varnish uh, won't push elements away from their settled positions so I hope <coughs> in a day this microscope would be packed totally, assembled, packed and sent to the new owner. So let's check another zoom now. So here's another zoom module with number serial uh, 28090. Oh, 90. Six, yes, we can see the rub color is without any turns. So now let's check how it works, how it's collimated. Okay, here's another zoom module. Let's check. Here's the lowest zoom position left channel right channel kind of half of way here closer to the to the edge but still not the highest magnification and here's the highest modification left channel and right channel so as we can see collimation is pretty nice now no mechanical loose actions so it's again got varnish on all its surfaces you just need to wait until after a day might be some collimation gets, lo gets loose because varnish will pull optical parts aside so in a day there will be the final check packing and sending the another microscope to a new owner so have, I have finally uh, made maintenance and maintenance for those two zoom bodies and in a day they will move to their new masters so thank you for watching I hope at least you will know now how to check collimation if you got a special bench. 
so let's meet in another videos bye bye everybody